What's up guys, it's the Joe Show here and welcome to my first ever video containing Fallout 4 content. Um, loads of the guys have been talking about what they've been doing with this settlement and that settlement. Um, so I thought it was time for the Joe Show to show off his castle settlement. Now, straight off the bat, um, I will just say that I used a couple of uh, console commands just to get the most out of uh, settlement buildings. So yeah, I, I don't really, you know... You make of it as you will, because some people are like, I oh, use the console command, you're cheating. Um, but it's just to really further it, because the limit on settlement sizes in terms of amount of things you can place is actually really low. Um, but I don't quite mean this, but I believe that's also running in line with uh, console. So the same limit is on console than it is on PC. So I could be wrong, but uh, either way, I have that. So yeah, here we go. So straight away from the outside, this is like our main entrance into castle. As you can see, we've got plenty of defenses up there. Um, got a, a new building up here, which I made. Um, so yeah, I'll show you uh, show you guys all of that. So this is obviously like our main sort of exterior defense. You come through here, and then you're in the uh, the main entrance area. At which point I should be able to bring up the uh, yeah. So as you can see, I uh, increased the size. Uh, got a population of 33 people currently, which is pretty cool. 54 food, 80 water, 63 power, 93 defense, and 35 beds. Uh, with an overall happiness of 79. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll try and do this walk around with uh, being as spoiler free as possible. Um, so let's just see how it goes. Main entrance straight away. Um, so we've got our two turrets sitting out here that kind of just guard the main entrance. We've also got our watch point there as well, which normally has a guard stationed at it. Um, I built like a bridge running over the top of there. Um, but we'll show you up there in a bit. So um, just obviously you can sort of get a. But yeah. Uh, welcome to Castle, guys. This is uh, this is my thing. Now, the um, I kind of wanted to. I'm one of these sad people. I like to wanted to tell a bit of a story in terms of the settlement and what we do, what's going on. So I've kind of like gone with the whole. This is a settlement where people from the Minutemen, your normal settlers, the um, Iron Legion. I want to say Iron Legion, but it's probably not called that. The, whatever they're called, uh, where everyone lives in harmony and everyone's just happy. So that's what I've gone for. Uh, so this is like our main courtyard out here. Um, as you can see, you've got the armory, which you uh, can open up if you've done a few missions in the castle settlement, uh, which I'll show you through. But we'll start off our tour on the ground floor, and we're going to start off on the left. Um, so straight away, we've got like our market stall kind of settlement area. Uh, we see quite a lot of, you know, just our settlers just manning the stalls. Makes a nice bit of income, so on and so forth. Scavenging stations, it's all pretty nice. So yeah, you come in straight away, um, and we'll start right from the left. Now, the idea of what I wanted to do was, yeah, really kind of build a story, um, and so, you know, really kind of give you guys an impression, you know, people live here, they're trying to make this work. So, first of all, I'll show you, uh, so straight out, this is like my generator room, so I got one, two, three, four, five large generators, two medium generators, and a small generator, basically many generators you could fit in this room, um, attached to a pylon, and then that cable just runs out the door. Luckily for us, the uh, the game allows cables to travel directly through doors, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, so this is like our first little bedroom, if you will. It's got like the Minutemen, let's just come out of that. You've got the Minutemen flag up there, so you're assuming you've got some Minutemen supporters here. They've got the radio, it, you know, it just looks a little bit authentic. And I'm, I really hope that you guys like the style that I've gone with. Uh, coming out here, we've got like our uh, sort of small crafting area for chemistry and weapons, um, which is really nice, pretty standard, just a couple of stools some rugs on the floor trash can um, I've also changed some of the internal wirings and stuff because I find that some of these cables just hang a little bit too low so in some places I've I put like extra couplers in there so they sort of loop and go up to the ceiling I'm not done it in all cases but as and when I'm needed to so yeah this is like the second bedroom area uh, moving into here got the, the fan thing going and more Minutemen flags and you know you like to imagine that people are going to be trying to make their you know their little rooms here a bit of privacy they put a little shelf up there um, and they're just sort of chilling they've got their beds behind there but I've tried to put in sort of much detail as possible so, you know like suitcases under the beds uh, all that kind of stuff storage more rugs you know all that I, I, yeah you get where I'm going there's a lot of sleeping in this lower bit I just pre-warn you but um, that's the idea is to put the sleeping inside so you've got like the more sort of basic stuff going on here. Basketball hoop, why not? Um, you've got a nice little view of the ocean out there as well, which is pretty cool. This is a bit more of a, a communal, bigger bedroom area. So we've got different flags, got like the railway, Minutemen. Uh, so yeah, plenty of um, 
different flags, sort of people being represented. Um, but again, you know, it's like just these like people's like areas, and you know, they're just doing their thing. Little desk over there. Um, but this is like one of my favorite parts where he's trying to tell like a bit more of a uh, story in terms of you know, shut up, shut up, Preston, I'm talking. Um, you know, you've got this woman here. This is her bed, and this is her story. You know, and imagine like this this little onk over here is her life. And I, I like that, you know, you sort of get that impression. And um, it works out really well. A cigarette machine there as well for, from the general trade which is pretty cool. Um, more beds, once again. Uh, people out there. But yeah, and then we have like our weapons bit. You go, we've got our, our shady looking guy here who's just, you know, what's up, man? Um, yeah, I've been there, mate. I've been there. He's got a little turret out there as well because I feel that he should have that. Activate an ash pile. I don't know what these. If anyone knows how to get rid of these, by the way, because they don't seem to do anything. They just hang around. And they're they're dotted all over the base. If anyone knows how to get rid of those, what you meant to do with them? I have no idea. So let me know. Uh, again, more living areas here. You know, these these guys got a bit lucky. They've got a bit a bit more space on this side. Just a couple of chairs, desk, living the life of luxury. More beds, more detail in terms of you know bed storage cases and art up on the walls. Um, we've got this room here, which I'm not entirely happy with, um, so I might need to jig around again. Really want to do, but I've got like the clinic in here, so um, we'll have someone in here eventually. Uh, you know, do all that your healing and stuff, and they live behind here. Then I've got like a VIP room area, and they've even got their own little private terminal. Whoops, didn't mean to bring that up. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Moving on, um, and we sort of come towards the end of the the, the the sleeping area, and you see you've got down here we've got you know just mattresses on the floor, trying to give the, you know a bit more of like a slums kind of feel about it, the cooking parts that kind of stuff. So yeah, that looks pretty nice, just basic lights and stuff. Which of that said, I guess that takes our tour outside. Um, we've got plenty of the uh, people on the watch on defense because you've got quite a few settlers here. So plenty of people manning the wall, just keeping an eye out. Got Minutemen standing, standing brave as they uh, watch out, which is really nice. And then you've got like your standard settlers roaming around. All nice stuff. So we'll uh, we'll do the wall, the wall walk, I guess first of all. Then we'll go down there and see what's going on down there. Um, I've recently started expanding the farm to uh, start operating up here. Just a very quick glance, you can see it's all down there as well. Um, but we'll look at that in a bit more detail. Just casually with his minigun there. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's there's loads of room for expansion still, and I'm really trying to figure out what I want to go, where I want to go next of all this. But uh, that's a spoiler, by the way, if you, if you haven't got to that part in the game. So I'm just gonna not talk about that. Um, yeah, so you keep going around the perimeter walls. As you can see, I patched up the walls as well quite nicely. Tried to fill in these gaps here between the railings. Uh, things that I want to tidy up. Eventually, I think I'll build more like houses and rooms and places to sleep up in. Maybe like a, say like a hotel, more of an inn, I guess is the uh, the correct term. So we've already been down there. Um, so this is probably one of my sort of bigger kind of projects that I took on. Um, and again, I need to kind of finish tidying up like things like here. I need to fill that gap in. Um, but this is what I'm calling like the army barrack kind of area. So anyone that's assigned to the the wall watch or you know like on defense, they get they get the uh, sleep up here. So you've got your beds running along there. Got some storage. And we've got our walkway going around the front and ashtray, of course. Um, got the siren as well. I won't put that on because everyone just goes mental. And then out here as well, you know, we've got like tra dumpsters, and we've got our, our trusty settler here who's manning the artillery. So you see the power runs from over here, all runs across the um, the castle, which is really nice. And we've got plenty of defenses there. You've got like the spotlight up front, uh, turrets, laser turrets, which do a really nice job. Um, and then we've got the uh, the part of the wall here, which I had to replace. And again, you can see like things that are the steps are never going to be perfect. Cause it's just so difficult to snap things in on this game. Um, but did a pretty good job in actually patching the wall up. Um, yeah, Codsworth is here, by the way, as well, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, that's all happening. Um, a lot of people um, get confused, actually. I will show you guys this because 
a lot of people get a little bit like what's the best way to do these walls and i found the best way to do them is using the shack foundation walls the, uh, the with the concrete base because you can kind of you can move them down as high up or low as you want them to be um, within reason they do snap into place reasonably reasonably well um, i'm not going to put it there but you get the idea so moving on we have our farm which is just a random assortment eventually i will replace everything so it is just mutt fruits in there because and again just things worth noticing is that the mutt fruit gives you one food uh whereas you have things like melon which only produce 0.5 um so mutt fruits are the most efficient quite easy to come by as well as you sort of get a little bit into the game bathtub Um, one of my favourite things down here, um, got the statues as well, which I think are pretty cool. Dog meat outside his little house. Uh, yeah, a lot of people just standing around. I don't do much. Oh, that's a graphical glitch. Um, we've got the bar area up here, which is quite busy at the moment. I'm, I'll just try to sneak up there. <laughs> that's quite a lot of people. In fact, the bar area I want to make a little bit bigger because... At the time when I built it, it was suitable because we had about like 15 people here. But that's like doubled since then. And there's just a lot of people standing around because I need to make the space more open. You disgust me. She's looking a bit shifty. Anyway, uh, so this is like our lower level guard post area. Um, sort of built in conjunction with... The existing armory, which we know and love. Hey, Piper and uh, Runny. How's it going, guys? Uh, so we've got a guard post up here as well, which people will come stand over. And hopefully once I sort of populate this um, ground level a bit more, as it gets a bit more busy, it will look a bit more authentic. It will look a bit nicer. Uh, this part is relatively new, so I do need to add further detail here. Um, they've got like just a singular bed in here, and this will be someone you know, who looks after the armory. Ideally, I want Runny Shaw you to sleep in there because you like hanging around in there if you've uh, got that far in the game she likes just to hang around here and smoke so but you can't assign her beds she just chooses a bed her own free will and then you've just got the standard uh pretty much as you find it uh in here i haven't even picked up half the stuff that's in here to be fair i kind of left it all as it was because it looked really cool in here um but yeah so we've got like mines and stuff like that i added some additional uh power armor stations um, and this is my uh, power armor there for the Brotherhood of Steel. And there's just a third one over there. I've not actually got that much power armor yet. I think um, with Fallout 4 doing the whole settlements thing, I think they really are onto something here. Um, I think they can make it so much better. And hopefully they do work on something to make settlements you know, a much better pro uh, you know, better thing to do. Um, they could definitely develop on it a lot more. They're, all, they're onto something good here. Um, I just really hope that in the future they start to elaborate on this and really sort of push that forward um, in terms of you know what we see and what they, what the settlers do. Because at the moment it's kind of like you can go to uh, is it Diamond City, which is like the central place, and the, and the, the town does feel alive, but this place just feels like it's a load of people just standing around. And I don't know, it's just making that I suppose just differentiating between people just standing around it, it just feels a bit static and then people actually I mean like it's just like what are you doing just standing standing but yeah anyway i hope you guys like the tour let me know what you think let me know if you've got any ideas or suggestions and also share any videos of me of your uh, of, of your uh, settlements i've also started working on starlight drive and that's got 16 people there um but i won't show you that i'll save that for another video so yeah, thanks for watching guys, keep tuned, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace out.